Hi, this is Minister Gale. This is week eight of Learn the 22 Letters of the Hebrew Alphabet Virtual Classroom 2020. This week we are going to go over the Hebrew Alphabet card, the Hebrew vowels, practice worksheet number two, words of the week, and at the end the Hebrew letter and vowel word key is available in a video. This is a review of the large alphabet card. Remember we read from right to left. All we need to do is memorize the letter for each picture. We don't need to memorize the picture name that they teach in Hebrew. It's not important for reading. So the Aleph is always a mark or an apostrophe with the number value of one or 1,000. This is for B with a dot, B, house. This means first, this is house, value of two. It also can be written without a dot in the center and that will be pronounced as a V but written as a B in the word. So it's pronounced as a V in Victoria but written as B in the word. It has no dot, still the value of two. G, Gimel, looks like a four inch high heel, value of three, and this is for pride. D, Dalet, D, this is the door, portal or opening, the value of four. H, 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 which is inspiration, breath, or revelation, value of five. V or a W, Vav or Wa, for man or nail, value of six. Zayin, Z, the letter Z for Zayin for the sword or the word of God, value of seven. Ch, like in Bach, Ch, C-H, and this is a yoke together with the Lord, I always put in with the Lord. That's a yoking together, value of eight. Tet, T-E, tet. Looks like a baby in the womb. It's the ninth letter. Protection, like Moses in the basket. Yud, Yud. This is the power, the right arm of God, the power of God. This is the power letter. So Y or an I always pronounced as an E. Value of 10, the power of 10, yud, k, ket, ket, ch. Sometimes it'll be written with a C, but it's supposed to be a K. Sometimes they'll put it as a Q, it's the sound. And it has a dot in the center, holiness unto the Lord like a crown, value of 20. Ch, ch, pronounced just like this one over here, like chet, but we're going to pronounce this one as k, ch. And this looks like a crown here, holiness to the crown with no dot value of 20. This is the final or sofit letter. It will pronounce sofit and it's spelled S-O-F-I-T but pronounced as an E. The final or sofit letter for K looks like this with a dot, K-H with no dot. And this will fall below the line. Notice these are on a line. These are exactly all across here. This is even on the line. This is on a line. These are below the line. So then you know it's the final or soft feet and it's not the delet. That's how you can tell it's a little longer. Value of 500. El, Lamed, the shepherd's staff. This is the tallest letter in the Hebrew alphabet. This will always be above the line. 30. Mem for water, Mem. This is open here on the side. Value of 40 for water or covering or wiping away, like a flood. This is the final or soft feet M. Here's a closed bottom here, value of 600. N for noon, seed, air, H-E-I-R, continuing the bloodline. Value of 50. Here's the noon, spelled N-U-N, but it's pronounced noon. And it's a soft feet, the final one, it's below the line. It's always below the line, so you don't confuse it with the V up here. 
This one's going to be longer and below the line value of 700. This is S, not an O, S, like in Sally, but a soft C. Sometimes I'll put a C, but it will be a soft C and value of 60. This is S. A yin for the I, and it's a mark, just like the alif. It's a mark also. A yin, it will always be a mark or an apostrophe for the I, value of 70. P for the mouth, P, hard P. Value of 80, without the dot, it's a PH or an F. PH or an F, this is for the mouth. PH like in Phyllis. Here's the final or soft feet. It will fall below the line. A P with a dot, PH with an F, PH with no dot. Value of 800. TS or TZ, the branch of righteousness. This is like an Egyptian I. This looks like a tree, the branch of righteousness. TS or TZ, this is the final or soft feet. At the end of the word, it will look like this. Falls by the line, he has like a tree branch. TS or TZ for Tassadi, value 900. The final's 900, the regular letter is 90. Q, sometimes written as a K, but it's supposed to be a Q with the sun on the horizon. The horizon with the sun. Value 100 for the bride or the woman. Q, or female. R for resh. This has a longer top on it here, like a fist, a ruling, reigning, R-E-I-G-N, like a fist. So this one is shorter at the top for man, and when I say a ruling man, R-U-L-I-N-G, can be R for resh, value of 200 because it's longer at the top. S-H has a dot on the right for the teeth, biting, chaos, destroy, destruction, value of 300. When the dot's on the left, it's an S or an S-I for sin. A dot in the middle with a little foot over here because the number het, eighth letter looks like that, but this one has a foot, so it's T for Tav with a dot. Without the dot, it's a TH, both value of 400. This on my Facebook page, you can print these out. If you spray on adhesive glue on the back, you can glue the back to the front and you can make flashcards for yourself to practice with on there where you can print them out and cut them out. Um, spray the glue first and then cut them out. This should match exactly the front to the back with the exact letters here. So you have your A lift with the mark meaning first, B, V, G, D, H, V or W, Z, C, H, T or T, E, Y or I, K, K, H, K, H, if it has a dot, it's a K, L for La Med, the shepherd's staff, M, M soft feet or final, N, N or final or soft feet, S, S, soft C, S, A yin, A yin is a mark, the I, both of these are a mark, the alif and the A yin are a mark, P with a dot, P, H or F with no dot, P, H or F, final or soft feet with a dot, it would be a P for the mouth, T, S or T, Z for Tassadi, T, S or T, Z, final, Q, sometimes written as a K, R, S, H, S or S, I, T, and T, H. Hebrew Vows, the Nikud, Practice Worksheet number two. We are going to cover the Hebrew letters, the Vav, Zayin, Chet, Tet, Yud, Ket, Kaf, and Lamed.
Hi, this is Minister Gale. This is the Hebrew Letter and Vow Practice Worksheet number two for the Hebrew Learning Class. This class is available in the Hebrew Lesson number seven, and it is available on the YouTube channel under Minister Gale Learning Hebrew in 22 Lessons and also on Facebook, Learning the Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom. Please do not sell or make any copies or to sell or publish to any third-party private entities. Vows. The Hebrew word for vows is nikud. All these pictures here, configurations, are for the letter vow A, and it's pronounced ah. They're all soft. All the vowels in Hebrew are soft, except for the I Y. This means it would be spoken softly or hard. This is just different meanings on how to pronounce the ah, and it's pronounced as ah in aqua. These configurations are for the E, E. Eh, these all are for E, the letter E pronounced E. Eh. Sometimes this one will be just a break in a syllable and not the letter E, as in at eh, red. The I or Y, Y is a consonant in Hebrew, and it's pronounced as an E. If you have a letter in a box and it's underneath, it's the I, the letter I pronounces an E. When you have a dot with the yod, it is written as an I, Y, pronounced as an E in green. A dot above the letter is an O. Above the Bob, it is put in the word as O, like Shalom, pronounced as yellow, O. When there is a letter with a dot above it, it has an O following that letter. This is for you, this dot with the Vav, V-A-V, the sixth letter, is always a U. If there's a dot to the left of any letter, it will have a U following it, and this configuration means a U also, pronounced as U in blue. This is a practice sheet. These are also can be printed off in Facebook. I have a photo album there where you can print these off. So you can practice this. And these are all for the ah, that's an ah, e, these are all e, eh, this is an i, y, this will be e, but it'll be i, y in the word, this will be an i, pronounced as an e, this will be an e, or dividing a syllable, this is a u, this will be an o, any letter with a dot above is an o, this is always an O or O-W in the word, like Shalom. This one would be a U, and this is always a U in the word, when it has a dot next to the Vav. Now you can practice. Okay, here it is in color code for the aqua and the E, the red E. So we're going to practice this next to a letter. You read right to left, but when you write it in the word or sentence, it's going to be left to right. So you have to think right to left, but when you write it down, it's going to be left to right. So the Aleph is always a marker and apostrophe. It's never the letter A. The vowel underneath of it gives the A. So this is an apostrophe, ah. This will be an apostrophe, ah. This will be an apostrophe, eh. An apostrophe, ah. Remember, the Aleph is always just a mark. It is not the letter A. So here's your answer sheet. Apostrophe, ah. Apostrophe, ah. Apostrophe, eh. Apostrophe, ah. So you're going to read down from top to down, but you're going to write left to right. In this lesson, we are going to go over the letters for Bob, Zayin, and Chet.
this is the Vav, V or W, Zayin, Z, C, H, Chet, like Bach. This is the practice sheet that you're going to use. You'll write the consonant and the vowel. So here's the vowels over here for your code sheet. The reason that there are several different configurations for the letter A and E, U, is that they are pronounced hard and soft. So that's why the configurations look different. You're gonna write the letter. You read from right to left and you start at the top and go down. So you're gonna put the letter first, the V, and then the vowel is the dot for I, which is pronounced like an E in green. So this would be V E, V E, V E, V A, A, V A. Now when the dot's to the left of the vowel, like over here, it is then a U in the word, or U-E. They'll have a U or U-E. It's pronounced like the U in blue. So this would be a U-E. There would be no V here. It would be a U and an E. This is for O or O-W, like in Shalom. And it's pronounced like the O in yellow when the Vav has a dot above it. It's always written as an O, W, or an O. This is V, U, the dots below, so it'll go back to V, U. This is Zayin, the seventh letter. Z, U, Z, I, Z, A. Z, E, Z, A, Z, I, Z-O. When the dot is above the letter, it's an O. <laughs> C-H. Remember, this is closed up, so it's not an H. It's C-H-O, C-H-E, C-H-A, and then this is a hard C-H. Normally, the dot's not in there. When you see a dot, it'll be a hard sound. This would be C-H-E. C H A C H U C H I V I Z E C H E V A. So here's the answer sheet to see if you got them right. V I V E V E V E. V A, V A, U or U E, because it's over to the left on the valve. O, W or O, because it's the dots above. V U, Z U, Z I, Z A. Z E, Z A, Z I, Z O or O W C H O C H E C H A C H just a C H there's no vowel that's not a vowel C H E C H A C H U C H I pronounced like an E so that'll be he he like a Bach, he sound, ch, he. V, V, it'll sound like a V, like Lee V. It's not Levi, it's Lee V. Z, E, C, H, E, V, A, Va. Now here's some practice words. I did look up the Strong's Concordance number for you. So if you look up the Strong's H1732 will be David. Remember the I is pronounced like an E. Remember they read right to left and they start at the top and go down. D, 
A V I D David Love will be an apostrophe always for the alif A H cuz it's open A Now this will be pronounced as a V but written as a B that's the bet A and H Festival is hag H, it's open here. A and G for gamel, gimel. Gold. Z, A, H, A, and this will be pronounced as a V, but written as a B. So it will be Zab, Zahab. Wolf, Z, A, apostrophe, E, V. So here's the answer sheet. Remember they read right to left. D for the door, D, A, V, I, D. So you're reading right to left. You're writing left to right. So that's where you have to have the right goes to the left, the left goes to the right when you interpret it or translate it. That will be the hard part. So you're going in two different directions. David, D for door. V for man. Jesus came. Jesus is the door. The Lord is the door. Comes from the line of David. The keys of David. Love. Ahava. Ahava. Mark. A. H. A. V. A H Ahava for love Ahava is the pronunciation that'll be written with a B but pronounced as a V. That's the tricky one, the second letter. A festival is called a hag. Hag, hog, hog, ah, ah. H, because it's open here. A, G for Gamel, Gamel. Gold. Z, A, H, A, V. Zahav, Zahav. Right to left. Down, up, down. A whoop is a zev, zev, z, e, apostrophe, e, v, zev, written with a b but pronounced as a v. Tet, t e t, y or i, which is pronounced like an e. Here's tet, looks like a baby in the womb when you do a sonogram. This looks like the baby in the womb for protection. And the Y is Yod, which is the power sign, the power of God, his right arm. It's not a literal right arm. It's a figurative of speech, figure of speech. The tenth letter is the power letter, the power of God, the right arm. It's like David's slingshot. I come in the name of the Lord. He came in the power of of the letter number 10. Okay, here is your practice sheet. It will be a TE or a T. Most of the time it's a T, but it's a TE for tet. T A A. T E.
T I T E T E T A T U T A Y E Y I it'll be pronounced ye yeah Y E Y E Y U Y A Y A Y O Here's your answers. T A T E T I T E T E T A T U T I Y E Y Y I Y this will be a ya, and that'll be pronounced ye. Y E, ya, ya, Y E, Y U, U, Y A, ya, Y A, ya, Y O, might have a W there. Y O, yo, like in yellow. Here's some more words. If you go to your Strong's Concordance, blueletterbible.org, type in H 2896, and they have the they have a person there that narrates the sound, so you can hear the sound exactly. So it is good. T O might be an O W, and a B, which is pronounced as a V. So T, this is not a V if there's a dot above it. The vowel with a dot is an O-W or an O, and the B is a V, Tove. Hand is Yad, Y-A-D, the power of the door, the hand, the right hand of God. Yona, remember the Roman Catholics changed the Y to a J, so sometimes you'll have letters. If you see a J, it's supposed to be a Y in Hebrew. So all like a Jonah will be Yona. This is the Latin way. The Hebrew way is Yona. Y O N for the seed. A H Yona. It's also the name for dove. Dove is also Yona. Yona means dove. The power of the seed, the power of man, the seed revealed. Remember, there was three doves at Noah's Ark. Dove over Jesus Christ when he was baptized. Tigers. T. I. Y. G. E R I Y S Tiger, like in Men in the Pooh. Tigers. Remember, this is an S, not an O. It could be a soft C or an S in the word. Tigers, that's an S. So actually, it's a Hebrew word, it's tigers. 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 Talit, the shawl that the Sanhedrin wears for prayer. T A L L, there's a double L, so it's pronounced very hard. I Y T, if there's a dot in it. This is the 22nd letter for T. When a dot's in there, it's a hard T for Tav.
So here's your answer sheet. Good. T O W V. Pronounced as a V, written as a V. Tov. Tove. Yellow. Tove. Good is Tove. Written as a B, pronounced as a V. Hand. Yod. Yod. Ah. Yod. Y A D. The power of the door. Dove. Yona. Y. O N A H breath revelation the Holy Spirit is H breath the word the voice from heaven is H Tigers so here's the pronouncing and spelling T I Y G E, R for Resh, Ruler, I, Y, S, Tigris, 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 for Tigers. Talit, which was not in the Strong's Concordance. T, A, L, Double L, because that's hard. That normally when you have a dot in a Lamed. Shepherd's staff. I, Y, T. Talit. Talit. Protection of the power of the shepherd is last. The talit, the shawl, the covering of the shepherd is the last power to seal the cross. Seal the cross, that's the 22nd letter, the end. Now the letters K, K, H, the soft beat for K, H, and L. So K is hard with a dot. K, H, Ch, sounds just like C, H, Ch, and the soft beat. If there's a dot in it, it will be a K. That's at the end of the word. Whenever a K is at the end of the word, it will look like this. This falls below the line. Lamed, L, the shepherd's staff, L. No dot, it's a K, H. Ch, sounds like Ch, Bach. K, with a dot, it's K, A. K, H, A. K, U. Sometimes they will pronounce this as a K, not K, H. I will show you a word coming up. So, it's always an if and an. K, A. K, E. L, O. K, A, L, U. When the dot's to the left of the vowel, it's not pronounced as a V, it's always a U, U. This dot should be above the lamed. That's a mistake there. K, I, Y, L, a, K, H, E, H, H, K, H, K, H, B, H, K, H, K, H, G, H, G, C, K, this is a K and a G, K, G, K, L, K, H, A, and just a K-H. K-H. Ha. K-A. Ha. Ka. K-H-A. 
ha k u ku k a ka k e k l o w the o the dot should be above it l o w k i key i pronounced like e l u w or u this is always when it has the dot to the left the vowel is pronounced as a u or u w k i y key l a la k h e k k h b k g k h a a h h and k h h words of the week in hebrew we will be covering the seventh letter zayin that will be in several hebrew words for your study Hi, this is Minister Gale, week eight of the Hebrew class, Words of the Week. We're going to go over words that have the letter Zayin, Z. This class is available on the YouTube channel, Minister Gale Learning Hebrew, and also on Facebook, Learning Basic Hebrew Class, Virtual Classroom in 22 Days. Please do not copy or sell to any private entities. Zayin, Z, it has the value of the number seven. It's the seventh letter in Hebrew is the Z, and this stands for the sword, to divide, weapon, or word of God. This is in page 51 in the booklet. Z7 stands for cup, sword, word, weapon, or plow. 2000 BC, this is what the letter looked like. Remember, Hebrew is Pictionary. Each letter has a meaning to it. And so now it has evolved to this letter here, this picture, which looks like the number seven. It was like Z for like Zorro way back. The Hebrew word for Zayin is Z A Y I N. This is the final suffix N. It falls below the line. If you just count that as the bottom of the letter, you can tell that's a suffix because it falls below the line. When it says jot and tittle in Isaiah 28, this is the jot and the tittle that it's talking about on the Hebrew letters. These all have to be across the top at the same level here. These will fall here on the same level, and then when it's below the line, it's a final or a soft beat. And this one's for the letter N, for the seed. So we have the word, the power, and the seed. Remember, Hebrew has to talk to you. It's a living word. So here it is, Zayin, Z, looks like the number seven. Used to look like that in 2000 BC. Think of the sword, looks like a sword, the word of God. Here's a sword. If you use your Bibles found in the Tanakh, King James Version, Douay Reims, any version of the Bible, that's the Holy Bible that was produced and for the Old Testament. If you look up Psalm 119, verse 49 to 56, this is the Hebrew alphabet, and it has Zayin. This is how it's written in the King James. The Hebrew version could be Z-A-Y-I-N, but this has got the Hebrew letters to the alphabet in Psalm 119. If you go to YouTube, 
In Facebook, I have this class here showing the complete psalms for you to learn out of Hebrews Psalm 119. As I told you in the concordance video, if you go to blueletterbible.org, then you type in the word sword. This is your Strong's Concordance online. Much easier to use than the book. On here, if you look this up for sword, you can have several Hebrew words for one English word. So all these Hebrew words mean sword in English. This is the point of a sword, glittering sword. A cherub is a sword. All these words mean sword, but I'm looking for the one that's using the Zayin for this lesson today. So, cherub, cherub, cherub. Now they talk about angels being cherubs, but it's cherub in Hebrew. The ch is pronounced like a bach, ch, ch, and this is written as a b, but pronounced as a v. Cherev, cherev, c h e r e v, pronounced as a v, but written as a b. Cherev, sword. It's in there 413 times. It's a feminine noun. Azen, azen for weapon. The aleph is an apostrophe or mark. A, Z, E, N. So you see it falls below the line, so you know that's the final saw beat for the letter N. A, Z, N, weapon, in there one time. Ma'oz, for strength or fortress. M, A. The apostrophe is the A, Y, N. It's just a mark in the word. O or O-W, they'll have an O or O-W, and a Z. Ma'oz, for strength. That's in there 37 times. It's a masculine noun. Ma'oz. The Ayin's always written as an apostrophe or a mark in the word. Sometimes they leave it out. Azach. For strengthen, starts with a CH. This is closed here, so you know it's the eighth letter for CH. A, Z, A, Q. That's the hard Q. Chazach, Chazach. It's in there 290 times. It's the verb for strengthen. Boaz. Boaz, B as in boy, O, apostrophe for the A-Yin, A, and Z. This is a proper noun, and it means fleetness, expedite, swift, sharp-minded, 24 times, Boaz, Boaz. And that's B, the second letter for B, apostrophe, which is the I, and Z. So you have the house of the eye of the sword, Boaz. Yisrael, Yisrael for Jisrael. So it's Yisrael. The power of God. Y, I, Z. This is dividing the syllable here. That's just a syllable division. R, E, apostrophe, E, apostrophe, L. Yisrael, Yisrael. Y, I, Z, that's just dividing the syllable. R, E, apostrophe, E apostrophe L.
R apostrophe E apostrophe L. That's the two marks, the two apostrophes, the two marks. That's where they are here. Same R. Praise. Z A M A R. To praise or sing. So you have the word, the sword, covering with the water, the covering like the heavens, and the ruling. So when you sing praises, it is the sword, the word of your mouth, that is bringing a ruling and covering over the earth. The sword means the word also. So then I looked up the word fly, because it has a Z in it, in Hebrew. And this is how many Hebrew words came up for the English word fly. And we're looking for the one with the Zayin. That's the one I'm going to use. But I wanted you to see just when you look up in the Strong's Concordance and find the word fly, the first Hebrew word is not the one. You need to see how many times it's in there. Also, it has to be predominantly over here on the left in the red. So this means this word will be fly, but over here fly comes later, so it is not the predominant word for fly. Also look and see how many times it occurs. So here's the one with the Z. Zeboob. Zeboob. Boob. And when you go to Strong's Concordance, tap in this number, and then you can have there's a person that narrates and makes the sound for you. Zivuv is pronounced with the V, written with the B. Zivuv, fly. Z, E, B, but pronounced as a V. That's the second letter for bet, or vet, pronounced. U, W, and a V. Remember when the Vav has a dot to the left, it will be a U, V, U, W, not a V. So it's pronounced Zivuv, written Zivuv. So these are Bs. This is a UW. This is a stinging fly. It was in there twice. Zamem, Zamam, Zamam means thought, consider, or devise. Z, A, M, A. Now here's your final soft beat M. It's squared off, so you know it's not the Samach for the S. This is an M because it's squared off at a 90 degree angle. And that's the final soft beat for Mem. So it's M, M. Now remember when the, the ancient Hebrews, the Sanhedrin, they read this with no vowels. They read Z, M, M. Zamam. To remember or think, zekar. Now this is the one where I said that the kh, this should have a dot in it if it's going to be a k, but I looked it up in four strong concordance. None of them had the dot in there, but they pronounced it as a hard k. They wrote it as a hard k, but in only one concordance, I found with the scripture did have a dot in it when the word was put into the scripture, it did have a dot. So this is Z, A, K, but normally it's a K, H, A, R, Zakar, Zakar, to remember or think. Same thing, Zekar, Zekar, a remembrance or memorial. Z, E, K, E, R. Zekar, Zekar. To tremble, moved, or vexed. Z, U, W, the mark or pos A, then the mark. So we read the Z, U, W, that's not a V if there's a dot there. U, W, that's, this can be a V or a W. The Vav, the sixth letter, changes between V and W. 
but when there's a dot to the left, it's UW for the pronunciation, A, and then the mark. This is the apostrophe, A yin for the I. So you have the sword of man and the I. The word of man and the I. This stands for tremble, moved, or vexed. Remember, it's a living word. Zebra is a Hebrew word. Zebra. Z E B. Now, this is just dividing the two syllables. This is not an E here. Sometimes this is an E, sometimes it divides the syllables. It's just a dividing line. R A. And they had an H here in Hebrew. It has the H. In English, it's left off. Zebra. Z E B R A H. Zebra. So that's a Hebrew word. Zebra is a Hebrew word. The wolf. Zeb. 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 The E is pronounced as an E, like in red. Z. Now here's an E. The marker apostrophe, E, B, but pronounced with a V. Pronounced with a V. It's written as a B, but pronounced as a V. Zeb, Zeb. These two go back and forth between a B for Bet or a V for Victoria. Gold, Zahab, Zahab. Z A H because it's open, so then you know it's not a C H. The air goes in and out. This is the Holy Ghost. It's the letter H, the fifth letter, breath, inspiration, air, revelation. This is the breathing letter, the fifth letter. It's like the Holy Ghost, the word, the voice. A, and then it's Written as a B, but pronounced as a V. So they'll say Zahav for gold, like Victoria, but it's written as Zahav as a B for bet. Zahav, gold. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So in the entire Tanakh, the entire Old Testament, God was just a voice, a word. The Lord was the word. In the beginning was the word. There was not a father nor a son in the Old Testament. Just the word, a voice, the I am, the breath of God, thus saith the Lord. Hebrews 4.12 for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. The word word is in sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit, the joints and the marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. To the Jew first was the book of Acts. Through Peter, he was told to feed the sheep. Peter had the keys to the church or congregation, Jewish congregation. It was to the Jews first, was the plan of salvation. It was never in Matthew. Ephesians 6, 17. And take the helmet of salvation, which is when you obey the book of Acts, chapter 2, 1 through 47, repeated in Acts seven times the exact same doctrine for salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So if the Word of God is commanded us in the book of Acts how to baptize in Jesus' name, that's your sword of the Spirit. That's your power. So without baptizing in Jesus' name, if you've only been sprinkled as a baby in the Trinity titles, or if you're in a Trinity church, of any kind, you don't have the sword of the Spirit. You don't have the Word of God in your right hand. You're lacking the sword. The whole armor, helmet of salvation, and the sword, which is the Word. 
because this is the word also. Matthew 28, 19 is not the water baptism done in any Bible. It is not salvation. You must do it the way it's written by the word. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. So two or three, we have Peter and Paul. When they went down to Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost, as commanded by Jesus to set up the church, they used Acts 2.38, Acts 10-48, Acts 19.1-6. So it's not God as three persons. God gave us three commandments to be baptized in Jesus' name. Three here. There's three examples. The total seven. Out of two or three witnesses, Matthew was only one. Two or three. You need two or three. Then he's there. Peter and then Paul. Two or three witnesses. This is your bath, which is the Jewish mikvah. There's only one Lord, one name Jesus, only one New Testament Bible way for baptism in the water. There is no other way. Nothing was ever done in Matthew 28, 19. Revelations 19, 13. And he was clothed with his vesture, dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God, who is the I Am, Yehovah, that's short for the Y-E-H-O-V-A-H, -H, which is the same for the Lord in Strong's 3068. And in Jesus, it is the name of Jesus. If you read Acts 9 and 26, Jesus is the name of the Lord in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, he only went by the word, I am or the Lord. Strong's H3068, the proper name of a deity. If you use these for your Strong's Concordance, you don't need the paper book. You can go to blueletterbible.org, which has a quick lookup reference to every scripture using any word you look up, thekingsbible.com, biblehob.com, and wesword.net. You can download this to the PC or tablet. This is excellent source for finding scriptures in the Hebrew definition. If you have a word, this is really good for looking up and seeing where it is. I have a class. On YouTube, other classes, I have an entire class here, 30 minutes showing you how to use all three sources, four sources for the Strong's Concordance Lookup. There's the YouTube link. I have other classes, Teaching Salvation, and all the Hebrew lessons. There'll be 23 lessons all together. I have other classes available Saturdays and then Monday through Friday. The Hebrews class is there at the Facebook and on YouTube channel. If you Google Minister Gale, learn Hebrew, up comes all the classes. This section is on the Hebrew letter and vowel word key. Video is to follow with the teaching. Hi, this is Minister Gale. This class is on the Hebrew letter and vowel word key. These classes are available also on the YouTube channel under Minister Gale, learning the basic Hebrew in 22 days and on Facebook. Please do not copy or sell to any private entities. The best Strong's Concordance to use online to be downloaded to your cell phone, tablet, and laptop is the blueletterbible.org, esword.net, thekingsbible.com. These are all free and excellent resources to translate the Hebrew and Greek definitions of the words in the Bible. I have a separate YouTube video also available on Facebook. The link is here below, and you can go there and learn how to use and download the Strong's Concordance on your cell phone, laptop, PC, 
and use them for resources. The word for vowels in Hebrew is nikud. These are the five vowels that are used in the Hebrew words. They were added later for pronunciation purposes only. So the symbols for A, the vowel A, pronounced A as in aqua, are all these symbols underneath the word. They are created different patterns because they're going to be hard or soft and how to pronounce the a. Uh. These are the ones for the e, pronounced as e, uh, as in red. They will have these different configurations. Sometimes this one is just a break in a syllable, not always an e. The i or y, the y is a consonant in Hebrew, is pronounced like an e, the long e. So anytime it is underneath any letter, a dot is going to be pronounced as an E sound. And the dot with the yod, yod, yod is pronounced as an I, Y, E sound, like green. Anytime the dot is over the va, V, A, V, the sixth letter in the Hebrew alphabet, it's always written in the word as an O, like in shalom pronounced O is in yellow. When the dot is above any letter, it is also an O. When the dot's to the left of the vav, the sixth letter of the V-A-V, it's always a U in the word, written as a U, pronounced like the U in blue. When you have a dot to the left of any letter, it is also a U in the word. Then if you see these three configuration dots underneath a letter, it is written as a U also for pronunciation only. This is a practice page for you to practice. These are the configurations for the A, A, I, Y, E, pronounced as an E. Remember the dot is under a letter. If the dot's under a letter, it will be an I, pronounced as an E. This three dots here would be the U. So we have the A, 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 A. This is an A. E, 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 E. This will be an I, Y sound, E, E, but it's I, Y. The dot under the letter is going to be an I sound, E. Written as an I, but pronounced as an E. This will be an E, the E, eh, the letter E, or an E, eh, or sometimes a division for a syllable. This can be two different ways. This is going to be the U is in blue. The dot above a letter is an O. The dot on a vowel is always an O. This whole letter is configurations written as an O or OW, like in Shalom. The dot to the left is a U, written as a U. The dot on the vowel, V-A-V, the sixth letter, is always written as a U or U-E in the word. This is for your practice. You can practice on this sheet yourself. These also can be printed off in Facebook. I have a photo album in Facebook on the Learning Hebrew page by Minister Gail, and you can print these off. Okay, the first word here we have is good. When you look up in the Strong's Concordance, it'll be H2896. Now remember, you can have one English word, but five Hebrew words, four Hebrew words, 10 Hebrew words for one English word. So you have to scroll down and see which one fits best. This is an adjective, and it means good. Now if we translate it from the Hebrew, we read right to left. So the first word here is the ninth letter, tet, te, T or T-E, which looks like a womb, looks like a baby in the womb, like on a sonogram. So that's the womb. This is man or nail, but O, and the house. Now when there's no dot in this letter, this is the second letter, bet, when there's no dot, it will be 
written in the Hebrew word as T-O-B for good, but pronounced as a V. That's very important. When you see the second letter for bet, it is written as a B in the word B, but pronounced as a V is in Victoria. Here's the word for uncle. D, dialect, door, O, because it has a dot above the vowel, which is man or nail, and then a D, door of the door. And it's translated as beloved, uncle, door of the door. So remember that Hebrew language is Pictionary. It has a meaning. Each letter has a meaning to it. It's the living word. This is a masculine noun. This is very important to look at. And it's translated dowd, dod, o like in yellow, pronounced dod. But the Hebrew do not use the vowels. The Hebrews use d-o-d. -D. David. Remember the keys of David were given to the church in the New Testament Bible. The keys of David. And Jesus said he was the door. Jesus gave the keys to the church, to Peter, the keys of David. So this is where you can see the door is also in the word David. So you have D the Dalet. A, A, and this is going to be an I because it's under the vowel, the I, the dots underneath, so it's an I, and then D for door, David. So when you pronounce it, it's going to be David, David, David in Hebrew, they will say David, but the Orthodox Hebrew Jew will see D, V, D. They do not use the vowels, so David. They only put them in for pronunciation. This is a proper masculine noun, meaning beloved. And when you translate it, it's the door of man at the door. It's the keys of David for the church in Revelations. And in John 10, he's the door. Matthew 16, the keys to the door, keys of David. It's also in Isaiah 22, 22. The door of man at the door. Dove, H3123, is a feminine noun. In Hebrew, this letter is the fifth letter, H for revealed. This is the seed, Nun. This is the VAV with a dot is an O. And this is the power letter, the tenth letter. So when you are talking about the dove, it's translated as Yona, Yona, it's Latin Jona, is the word for dove, and the Hebrew will have Yona. This is Latin, because remember, there is no J in Hebrew. The Roman Catholics took out the Y, the power letter, and replaced it with the J. So the word dove, power of the seed revealed. Remember, Noah had three doves that went out. Also, there was a dove that came down on the shoulder of Jesus Christ. And this is when the Lord said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. So the dove is a sign of the power of the seed revealed is a dove. Yod, Vav, which is the O, Nun, Ah, Huh. Reveal. Remember, it's open on the left. This is the fifth letter. Y, O, N, A, H. And the Catholics made that a J instead of a Y. The word for peace. Shalom. S, H. Has a dot over it, so it's an S, H. The she, the 21st letter. Here's the A, ah, the A, L for the shepherd, the shepherd's staff, 
O, because the dot's above the bob, so that's going to be an O, or O-W. They'll write O-W or an O. Both are correct. It's only for pronunciation. And this is the final or soft beat M, M. So here's the translation from the letters. So this means wipe out. This is water. So it's wiping out. This is the O. This is the shepherd. And this is the word for storm. So then you want to wonder why the Lord made the word peace with the letter storm in it. So now when you translate the living word, the shepherd calms or wipes out the storm over the water. And that's how you get peace from these four letters. Also, the root word of Solomon, the son of David, is peace. When you translate Solomon, the root word is shalom, peace. So out of David, the keys of David, came peace, the line of Judah. Remember, the Hebrew does not use the vowels. So this is what they see is S-H-L-O-M, reading right to left. They read right to left, a masculine noun. Here's for the word one. This word's very important. Deuteronomy 6, 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Not three, but one. In the beginning, he was the word. Then in John 1, 1, the word became flesh. So there's no person of God in the Old Testament anywhere. H259. This is an adjective. It's in there 952 times. That's important to note. This is the delet, the door, the yoke, and the aleph is always written as a mark. That's not an A or an E. It's a mark, and it means first. So when you translate the word one from Hebrew, you have the first yoke to the door. And what did Jesus say? He was the door. So this is pronounced echad, like in Bach. Echad, echad. The CH has a sound. So it's echad, echad. And then when the Hebrew looks at it, it sees an apostrophe, the mark, CH and D. Echad. One, the first yoke to the door. So he was telling us that he was the door, one Lord, in the very beginning. Deuteronomy 6, 4, he was the door. When you become born again and baptized under the water in Jesus' name, then you become one with the door, yoked to the door. Then you're one with Christ. Not three men, not three persons in a Godhead. You become one with Christ, yoked to the door. Yeshua is not the name of the Lord. That's a wrong messianic teaching that's not correct. Yeshua is a feminine noun, the passive participle of Yasha the verb to save or savior. It is what he does. It is what the Lord does. It's a process. It's only in the Bible 78 times. That's very important to note. It's feminine noun. It's not the proper name of a deity. This is a noun from a participle verb to save. This is what he does. He saves people. Yeshua is the word salvation, not the name for the Lord, for deliverance. It's a process. It's an action word. Yeshua. So you have the Yod, which is the Y. Here's the E. The e. The dot's above on the right, so that's the S-H, since it's on the right. Now, the dot's to the left of the V-A-V, -V, so it's now going to be written as a U. This is the A-Y-E-N, which is just a mark or apostrophe. It's only a mark or an apostrophe. There is the A, A, and H. So it's Y, 
shu a ye shu a this is breath revelation so it's the power chaos of man this is the eye revealed The eye of man sees sin and gets into sin, lots of chaos, and he comes to save you. So this is the power saving you from the chaos. I am. H1961 is in there 75 times. When he's talking about the Lord, the I am, translated, Haya, Haya. So when he told Moses his name was the I am, the I am, he said, Haya, Haya, Haya. We have revelation of the power, revelation. He breathed power. This is breath. This is breath, the I am. Breath, inspiration, revelation, the power is revealed. When he breathes life into a human being, when he t puts the breath in the air, when life begets life, that's the I am revealed because everyone is made in the image of God, and that's breath, the I am. You have the breath of him in you. To be or become, come to pass, to exist. Just the I am, singular, all singular tense, and it's a verb. This is breathing, inspiration, revelation, wind, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. When he speaks the word, he's breathing the word into your mind with revelation. He breathes the word into your mind by revelation. Sometimes he speaks loud, but sometimes, most of the time, he's just your thoughts. The breath of revelation, the I am, constantly talking to you. Here's the name of the Lord. Now, this is where the Hebrews are reverent. This is the most predominant name. It's in there 6,519 times. It's in there as Jehovah four times. Jehovah four times. So remember I said that the Roman Catholics took the Y, the Yod, and changed it to a J. So when they wrote the Old Testament translation, they only translated for them with a J. When you look up the Jehovah in there, it still comes up H3068 for the Lord. So it's actually in there 6519. And it's in there with four more. It says Jehovah is Yehovah. This is just an abbreviated way of writing it. Like we write Mr. M-I-S-T-E-R. And then we do M-R period. So this is the abbreviation of the word Yehovah. Pronounced Yehovah. Yehovah. And the Hebrew people would see Yehovah. In fact, they wouldn't even do the V because this is actually an O. So it's really supposed to be, yeah, that's all. It'd be the I am. And then Orthodox Jews will not say, will say Adonai when they see the letters Y-H-V-H in the Hebrew. When they see Y-H-V-H in the Hebrew word in their Tanakh, they will say Adonai. They have such great reverence for the word of the Lord that they won't even say Yehovah or Lord, they will say Adonai instead. And this is a proper noun with reference to a deity. Remember, Yeshua was not. This is a proper noun with reference to a deity. So the word Lord, capital L-O-R-D, is Yehovah. And in the Old Testament, he was the name of the Lord. There was no name. He was just called the Lord or I am, the self-existent eternal one. This is number H430 for the word God, capital G, small o, d in the Bible for Elohim. 
This is translated Elohim. So here we have a mark, which is there, an apostrophe. E is this configuration of dots. L, O, H, I to Y, and M. Remember, they read down and up, down and up, down. That's how they read. So this is the mark, E, L, O, H, I, Y, M. Elohim, the water power revealed shepherd first. You have the power of the first shepherd revealed over the water, Genesis 1-2. So the name Elohim, which is God of gods, the supreme God, and Genesis 1-2, when it says Elohim, his name, actually the name of God of gods, was actually revealed in Genesis 1-2, the name revealed the scripture of the water. The shepherd was revealed over the water. The power of the shepherd was revealed over the water in Genesis 1-2, Elohim. It's a masculine noun. It is not the proper name of a deity. It's in there 2,606 times. When the Hebrew reads it, it is the apostrophe L-H-I-Y-M, Elohim, Elohim. The Lord God Jehovah, remember, the Catholics took the J and replaced the Y with a J, so it should be Y. The Lord God Jehovah, Jehovah, is the same word, God is with us, Emmanuel, Al is God, in Hebrew, Emmanuel is Greek. This is for God is with us. In Hebrew, God is with us in Greek. This is in Isaiah 7.14. This is in Matthew 1.21. Fulfilled. The Lord God Jehovah never said his name was Yeshua or Joshua. He said his name was. The I am in the Old Testament and Jesus in the New Testament. The name of the Lord in the Old Testament was I am. The name of the Lord in the New Testament was Jesus. You will see that in Acts 9 and Acts 26. Here's your word key. H 1961 for I am, which is in there 75 times. Jehovah, 3068 or Jehovah, same word, same translation for capital L-O-R-D. Capital L-O-R-D is always translated Jehovah. Even Jehovah is translated Jehovah. It's in there 6,519 times. That's in there four. H 3444, Yeshua is a past participle noun of the verb for the verb yasha to save. So that's the word salvation. It's a process. It's what he does. It's not his name. It's only in there 78 times. The root word for Yeshua is yasha for save 205 times. This is the action, a verb, an action word. Not the proper name of a deity. Then the word Jehoshua in the Hebrew is Yahashua for Joshua. Jehovah saved. It's in there 218 times. Jehovah saved. It's not the name of Jesus. It's for Jehovah, Jehovah saved. Then in Greek, G2424 in the Strong's Concordance, the word Jesus is in there 975 times, and the root word is from the Lord, Jehovah, and Joshua saved. Acts 9 and 26. So you have to go to the Lord for the Lord in Acts 9 and 26, which refers back to H3068, Yehovah, for the Lord. 
Exodus 3, 13 through 15. And Moses said unto God, and that's your H430, Elohim, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, I is singular tense, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? Moses asked God, and God said, El Elohim, the God of gods, the supreme God, said, I am that I am, H 1961, and that is singular tense, singular, one. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. And God said, Moreover, unto Moses, Thou shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord, H3068, God, H430, of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. This is my name forever. I am that I am. And when you translate the word Jesus, it means I am Lord. I am. Exodus 23, 25. And this shows you that Joshua was not the name of the Lord. And ye shall serve the Lord your God. H3068, H430. The Lord Jehovah, your God, Elohim, the God of gods. He's saying the Lord is the God of gods, the supreme God. The Lord is the supreme God, nothing higher, nothing lower. And he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Who else took sickness away from the midst of thee? Jesus. Isaiah 7, 14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. It'll be pronounced E in Hebrew. Emmanuel. Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. All three of these are in Emmanuel. Of the increase of his government and the peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David, there's the throne of David, and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment, with justice, from henceforth even forever. The throne of David, the kingdom of David, the keys of David, the church of David will be forever. Matthew 1, 20 through 25. The angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. She conceived a baby. She was conceived of the seed of the Holy Ghost, the seed of the Holy Ghost, the seed of a spirit was not a person, was not a man. She would not have been a virgin if he was a man. She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Jesus. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord of the Lord, by the prophet, that would be Isaiah, saying, remember this was Isaiah 7, 14. Behold, a virgin shall be with a child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel. That's the Greek for the Hebrew Emmanuel with an I, which being interpreted is God with us. And Joseph knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and he called his name Jesus who is God with us, who is Emmanuel. He was the seed of the Holy Ghost. Jesus is the Son of God and the Son of Man. 
Acts 9 and 26, Acts 9, 3. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven, a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice, here's the word, a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Saul said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. The Lord said, I am Jesus. The voice from heaven said, I am Jesus. Singular tense. There's not three men playing musical chairs around one throne in heaven. I am Jesus. Singular. Matthew 4, 7. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. There again he's saying, Jesus is the Lord thy God. Jesus is the Lord thy God. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him. Jesus is the Lord thy God. Jesus is the Lord thy God. Singular tense, the I am. Only one. He's the door. I have other classes on the YouTube and Facebook. If you go to this link above here, you can go to YouTube and find it and watch these classes. Each week I'm trying to post them up. There should be 23 lessons in total. This is the Hebrew vowels and soft feet letters, which is in the lessons. This mini book, Fill in the Blank and Learning the Letters, is also in the lessons. This is a separate video, the Strong's Concordance, how to add it to your cell phone, laptop, or PC. And here's the link to go to that YouTube video, about 20 minutes long, on how to use the Strong's Concordance online and not need a book. Thank you very much. This is Minister Gale. How to look up Hebrew words in the Strong's Concordance. On the next page is a video link for YouTube, and you can also find the video on my Facebook page, Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020. I have available on a separate video the Strong's Concordance lookup on my YouTube channel. You can see the link below and also on my Facebook page, Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Class from 2020. These are three excellent online sources. I show how to add them to your PC, laptop, tablet, and your cell phone homepage. These are very easy to use and I go through details on how to use each program. I have other classes available also on YouTube. I have Jesus is the Hope of Salvation, Water Baptism, and the rest of the sessions for my learning Hebrew in 22 days. Also, I have available a video on how to receive the Holy Ghost for Jew and Gentile. If you don't have the Holy Ghost Baptism, I have videos to show you how to get it. This is the end of this lesson for learning the Hebrew in 23 lessons, which is available on YouTube and also on Facebook. Thank you again. Please subscribe. And if you click the little bell here, you'll be notified every time I have a new class. So please subscribe. Thank you very much. This is Minister Gale.